Hey, it's Pastor Jim. I want to welcome you to day one of our 21 days of prayer. I want to read a scripture verse to you, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pray that verse. That's really what I'm going to do over the next 21 days is read a verse, then pray that verse. really do believe that it's more important what God says than what my opinion is or my preference. Uh, His word is powerful. Amen. Hey, listen, I want to challenge you in the 21 days of prayer to really take time to fast from something. Maybe it is fasting one meal, if you're able to fast two meals, or maybe you're gonna fast social media, turn off the TV, delete those apps from your phone, remove every distraction, and in its place, put a time of prayer uh, while you are fasting. Include your spouse if you're married, include your family, your small group. Uh, We are believing for breakthrough breakthrough in two ways. One, in your relationship with the Lord, that you'll get to know God in a deeper, more powerful way. And number two, a breakthrough in miracles in your life or for somebody that you're believing God uh, to do a miracle in their life. Uh, Pastor Jennifer and I love you. Uh, Let us pray. Here's what we're going to pray. Matthew chapter 7. Jesus is talking about not worrying. He says, listen, don't worry about your clothing. Don't worry about your food. Don't worry about your resources. Uh, The world chases after those things. And then he says this, verse 33, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. Righteousness is a right way of living. It's doing the right things at the right time, time for the right reasons. And all these things, all those things the world is chasing after. So he's not saying those things aren't important. He's saying that the priority, uh, the, 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 The order is important. Seek first his kingdom, and then all those things will be given to you as well. God is saying, I'm your provider. I'm your source. Put me first, and I'm going to make sure that those things that you desire in your heart, that you need, that you even want, will be added to you because order matters. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, right now, as we gear our hearts for 21 days of prayer, we position ourselves to seek first your kingdom. Not our own kingdom, not the kingdom of this world, not our preferences, and not our, our ideology, uh, but we seek you and your ways. We yield our mind, our emotions, our whole being, and we say, God, help us to line up our will to your will. We pray this prayer many times. Uh, let it be in heaven on earth. And as it is in, on the earth, let it be in heaven. We pray that so many different times. We want your will to be done on the earth as it is in heaven. We yield to that. Lord, We, as we start this 21 days of prayer and fasting, we live open-handed. We open our hand and we say, God, whatever is in our life that shouldn't be here in this season, remove it. Those things that you wanna put in our hand, we trust you as we seek first your kingdom that you're gonna put them in our hand at the right time. Lord, I pray right now that you reprioritize some things in our life that if there are things that are out of whack and we need to do a course correction, uh, help us do that to seek first your kingdom and, and your righteousness. Lord, your way of living, the word of God. Lord, call us to a place of holiness. Those things that perhaps what we're doing in one season, uh, we should not bring them over into a new season. Maybe it's relationships. Maybe it's a way of thinking. Maybe it's unforgiveness. We need to relieve that and leave it in the old season and begin to live righteously in this season. Lord, I thank you for your grace. I thank you that your grace abounds much, that where we're falling short, your grace abounds. Lord, today as we go about our day, help us to walk in your righteousness in our words, in our deeds, in our attitude, the way that we view people. Help us to see people as you see them. Let us be filled with compassion. Today we pray this verse. As we seek your kingdom and your righteousness, all these things we need, our finances, our bills, our healing, we trust that you're gonna bring those things to us because we put you first. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Hey, listen guys, Jennifer and I love you. We'll see you tomorrow for day two.